Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Back for another talk on some aluminum today. So before we jump in, do me a favor, little whoop, right there. Just how about you can subscribe if you like the video. And if not, maybe a little like for the like the video that you like. Got it? Great. Let's do it. So today our video is about the highest strength of the aluminum alloys. Both are in the 7000 series, 7050 and 7075. Both are widely used in the aerospace industry. If you have not seen our video on aluminum tempers, or if you would like to review, there you are. Just click that little thing right there. Tempers away. Now the primary alloying element in this series is zinc. The Aluminum Association, which is the American industry organization that has established standards, also uses a comparative rating system for various properties of aluminum alloys. An A rating is the most favorable rating and an E, the least favorable. And again, these are comparisons within aluminum alloys. An alloy in temper with an A rating is superior to that with a B, and so on. Aluminum chemistry requirements routinely contain a restriction of 0.05 max each for any unspecified elements and a total of 0.15% max, which applies to all these alloys, and the balance aluminum and the balance element is aluminum. 7050 is the first one we're talking about today. UNS A97050. And that has a chemical composition of 0.12 max silicon, 0.15 max iron, 2.0 to 2.6% copper, 0.10 max manganese, 1.9 to 2.6% magnesium. 0.04% max chromium, 5.70 to 6.70% zinc, 0.06 max titanium, and 0.06 to 0.15% zirconium. The T76 and T74 tempers and variants like T7651 are rated C for general corrosion, B for stress corrosion, B for machinability, B for anodized response, and a D for weldability. The major application here is the aircraft structural part. 7075, next on the list, UNS A97075. That alloy has a chemical composition consisting of 0.40 max percent silicon, 0.50% max iron, 1.20 to 2.00% copper, 0.30% max manganese, 2.10 to 2.90% magnesium, 0.18%, 2.25% 2 chromium, 5.10% to 6.10% zinc, and 0.20% max titanium. The T6 tempers and variants like T651 are rated C for stress corrosion, but are the highest strength. The T73 tempers are a bit lower in strength, but earn a B rating for stress corrosion resistance. Both the T6s and T7s are rated C for general corrosion, C for machinability, B for anodized response, and D for weldability. Perhaps it is the most widely used high strength alloy in aerospace applications. The high strength T6 tempers of these alloys should be used with caution when used in environments where stress corrosion can be an issue. They should be protected from exposure, eliminating the contact with the environment or other tempers or other alloys should be used. And so if you want more information, tune in next week for our next video on Thursday. Commercial applications generally specify ASTM standards. Aerospace applications utilize AMS standards or the defense and federal standards. As always, there are detailed requirements within the full temper designation and any specifications that can require specific products and processing. And so we caution you to carefully, carefully check the specs. And so thanks for tuning in. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal.
If you've missed any of our previous videos, they're right here. Check them out. If you've made it this far and haven't thought about subscribing yet, think about it and then do it. Just click that little button right there. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you next Thursday for another edition. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. Have a good week.